Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Falls Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. It is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you would um, like to contact me, you can do so. All my information is right below into the YouTube uh, description box. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated, and I do thank you in advance. So, um, that being said, this is a very um, emotional reading, so please really take whatever resonates whatever feels like it belongs to you that message is yours please take it um loved ones they want to deliver you some love and some comforting messages so i'm going to do that um i do have four of them here i am going to conclude with an angel message for you from your guardian angel and um if I do have any messages that do come through, which I usually do have some that pass on by, I will deliver them after the um, guardian angel. So let's begin. Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. I watch over you every day. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold guilt. There is no such thing as death. So let's begin with the first one here. Although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. There is divine order behind everything that happens, including the time of my passing. I realize that you weren't ready to let me go, and in many ways I wasn't ready neither. Now, since my passing, I've received spiritual counseling to help me, to help me see the big picture of my life and of my death. I now understand that I had to leave the way that I did. It was part of my soul contract, and it was part of yours as well. I now see that everything in this universe is mathematically precise. There are no accidents, and at some level your soul knew that I would leave before you did. We've both been preparing for this transition since the beginning of our relationship, and I am grateful for all of the beautiful moments that we shared together. Along with the lessons I learned from the difficult times, it is all divinely Perfect. I watch over you every day. Believe me when I tell you that I hear every one of your thoughts. I know all of your life's desires, your goals, and accomplishments. We have such a strong soul connection that part of my desire here is to watch over you there. And even though I can't take your test for you or interfere with your free will, I, I am sharing your space. And I am always influencing you to do the best that I know that you can do. I help bring into your life those important learning opportunities your soul needs in order to grow. Think of me as your guardian angel. We share life together. I am the light that goes before you, holds your hand, and shows you the way. So don't be surprised if a thought about me suddenly comes into your mind, seemingly like that at random. That is me standing next to you, letting you know that I am still and always with you. My death was painless. Please don't worry or 
hold on to any guilt. As souls, we do not feel physical death. And remember that within the blink of an eye, I was outside my body, looking down at it. I immediately felt an, an intense sense of happiness and peace. It was indescribable, yet I wanted to tell everyone. I was also able to see the thoughts that you created and carried with you in your mind and we are pure energy vibrations of light please know that your thoughts of guilt and worry they block our light they don't serve either of us well and they create unnecessary debris know that I am happy and that a soul can never be harmed And the very last message that I do have is there is no such thing as death. I am as much alive as you are because our souls are a life force energy that can never be extinguished. Only my body has been released. And that was a dense form of energy that was affected by other dense earthly energies. My soul and yours they're beautifully fine. They're high vibrational energies which live for eternity. I am conscious and fully aware of who I am and where I am. You might even say that I'm more aware now that I'm free of all the distractions of the physical world. Please know that I am happy and I am healthy in the spiritual sense. In many ways, I'm even more available to you than I was on earth because I am more alive than ever. Moving on over to your guardian angel before passing you the, um, the messages that are crossing by. I have angel of comfort. You've received this message because your angel of love has heard your prayers for assistance with finding love in your life. As human beings, we all deserve to be loved and to be able to share love with another. Are you hoping to attract your significant um, other, maybe? Now, I know that in these times your guardian angel I know that you're looking for love I know that you're trying to feel the spaces that are in your heart right now you're trying to fill up the emptiness you're trying to feel the love that um, that was lacking not that was lacking but the love that was that is no longer there but you need to know that the love has never left it is not gone. It is always there. And your angel of comfort wants you to know that. Wants you to accept the comfort and the support that your angel shares from above. Your angel of comfort acknowledges that you're experiencing some challenging times. Feeling alone. Lost a loved one. Having challenges with work or with family. And when the question is yes to any one of these, you need to ask your angel of comfort to come in. Your angel of comfort is going to fill you with love, is going to help you to find the ways to feel that emptiness. Is going to find you some comfort, some support, and don't feel that any challenge or issue that you are worrying about is too small for her assistance. All you need to do is to focus that he or she is by your side at times of need. Your angel of comfort wants to offer you a shoulder to cry on, a strong hand to hold, and an ear to listen to your worries and your fears. They are going to offer you strength and comfort and guidance to help you understand that in time you are going to heal. Sometimes getting back into your comfort zone can be as simple as sharing your experiences with another, talking about your issues with your angel of comfort or your earth angel could give you fresh insight. But your angel of comfort is going to help you to return to your natural state of well-being. 
help you find some ways to release any of your past fears so that you no longer return to that past state of discomfort. All you need to do right now is to trust and to have faith in your angel of comfort. I have messages coming by saying, never forget that you are loved. Love never dies. Um, I also have uh, messages coming uh, saying to follow your intuition. I have a few people here who are trying to send messages through dreams and they are not getting through. Um, but they're going to keep trying. They, they do it over and over and over and over again. Um, they're just trying... Uh, kind of different ways, different messages, tweaking them a little bit. Um, so if you're concerned by this at all, if this does seem like you've been having some dreams, you're feeling connected, but you don't really know what it is, this is for you. Um, some are using birds as messengers to connect with you, to tell you that everything is okay, that you're on to the right path. Um, I'm hearing messages also. Uh, the messages. I have a Samantha. I also have a Lori. I have a Diana. I also have a Diane. Um, I have a Jasmine. Um, this could be French also, the Jasmine, okay? Um, so it could be uh, it could be a French, it could be a male. Um, and these are the messages I'm getting. These people, they want you to know that they love you. Um, I have one person in particular who's standing out who is um, younger, a male, maybe about 25, between 25 and 30, short hair, brown hair, brown eyes, um, maybe 5'8", five, 5'7", five, five, they want to tell you, and you is speaking about the parents out there, that um, don't feel bad, Every it's not your fault, and they're, they're quite happy where they are right now, and that is all I have unfortunately so hopefully one of these messages are going to get through to you for whoever it is that they are destined to um, if you do have any questions you like your own reading please do contact me please don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel stay tuned for any following readings and I wish you a beautiful day a lovely weekend thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages